Welcome back to the Snack Provides YouTube channel. I'm Amy and this video is going to be all about neurotransmitters and the giant squid axon. The central nervous system is an incredible thing. It connects our whole body to our brain and enables us to react to our internal and external environments through a series of electrical impulses and feedback loops. We have millions of neurons around our body which are working constantly to maintain a potential difference so that when a sensory input is detected, it can be relayed to the brain and back again to affect a response. At this point, if you feel like I'm saying a load of words that don't make a load of sense to you, then check out this video just up here, which will give you a quick revision session on the central and periphery nervous system and should get you up to speed for the rest of this video. Part of the nervous system which plays a huge role in the transmission of electrical signals is the axon. This is a projection from the neuron which carries an action potential away from the neuron body towards other neurons and to effector cells like muscle cells. In the human body, axons come in a range of shape and sizes from 1 micrometer in diameter to 20 micrometers in diameter and from 1 millimeter in length to up to a meter in length. The longest axons in your body make up the sciatic nerve which runs from the base of your spine down to each of your big toes. This sounds impressive and it is, however for me the most impressive axon in the animal kingdom comes in quite a peculiar animal. This is a squid. It's part of a group of more than 300 species of cephalopod which have eight arms, two tentacles, and a pretty zany nervous system. These animals have been in our oceans since the Jurassic, predating on smaller fish and inspiring Scandinavian folklore. They're really interesting creatures to observe and they have surprisingly taught us a lot about what we know about our own nervous systems. This might seem surprising because the squid's nervous system isn't really like ours. Theirs is more complex and it is actually made up of a ring of nerves that goes around their esophagus and receives input from their eyes and statocysts. Below this ring of nerves are some ganglia which help to control the muscles of the body. This in itself is quite interesting, but what has captured scientists' interest for decades is the giant axon which runs through the mantle of the squid and helps them to jet propulse their body through the water. In this image here, you can see the giant axon and where it sits within the body of the squid. This giant axon is made up of lots of smaller axon fibers that are all joined together to facilitate an increased speed of impulse transmission. The endings of the giant axon nerve are rooted in the muscles of the mantle and help with rapid contraction so that when startled, the squid can make a hasty exit. This is a jet propulsion mechanism and it needs to be a lightning fast reaction otherwise the squid gets eaten. Action potentials travel faster through an increased radius of axon due to the decreased resistance that the action potential encounters and therefore squid have evolved these giant axons that are up to 1.5 millimeters in diameter. This still sounds tiny but believe me it is huge compared to the diameter of other axons found elsewhere in the animal kingdom. Because of the size of this axon it's been studied extensively and has contributed massively to our understanding of neuroscience. In 1929, an Oxford-educated zoologist called John Zachary Young encountered the giant axon completely by accident when he was dissecting a squid in search for a vestigial photoreceptor organ which he'd previously found in octopus. Upon realising that this was a nerve fibre that he was looking at, Young realised that it was big enough to insert a small electrode in to help to measure the potential difference between the inside of this nerve fibre and the outside. The results of Young's first study looking at the squid giant axon were published in the Nature Journal later that year. However, the onset of the Second World War put a stop to further research for the time being and a lot of the equipment at the Marine Biological Association lab in Plymouth, which is where Young was working, was actually destroyed during the war. However, not one to be deterred, after the war, Young returned and continued his research. For decades after Young discovered the giant axon, researchers continued to take a look at this nerve fiber. Taking recordings from the axons was reportedly very difficult. And so, to celebrate coming to the end of their recordings for the day, some of the researchers used to take their fiber and fling it over their shoulder and up some of them sticking to the ceiling of the laboratory. Some of them are still there to this day, and I think it's so cool that you can go to this lab and see this small bit of science history. The work carried out on squid giant axons heralded modern electrophysiology. Thanks to the many squid which were studied by JZ Young and subsequent researchers, we have an improved understanding of atrial fibrillation and how we can treat patients with it in a much less invasive way. And we are also continually learning about the impacts 
of injury to the nervous system. In March last year, researchers looking at the giant squid axon also found something very, very exciting indeed. They found that within the giant axon, squid were able to edit the mRNA that was going out to produce proteins in the nervous system. The first recorded incident of edits made to genetic information outside of the nucleus. This gives squid the unique ability to fine tune the proteins that they produce to match localized cell requirements, an ability which hopefully will eventually be able to be harnessed to help treat human neurological disorders. Isn't it incredible that an accidental discovery made by someone in 1929 has made a difference to so many people's lives now who are suffering with neurological disorders? This is a fantastic example of how the study of the natural world and natural processes can actually help to benefit human health and our understanding of how our own bodies work. Before I finish this video, I do have to recommend that if you found this interesting, you should definitely take a bit more of a deep dive into squid because they are fascinating creatures from their giant axons to the way in which they communicate through changing the color of their skin. They are so cool. Please do go and do some more reading about them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you found this interesting, please do give this video a like and subscribe to the Snap Revise YouTube channel just here. We have tons of content to help with your A-level revision. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a biologist. So we'll benefit from the A-level biology playlist just here. Good luck with your vision and I look forward to seeing you back on the channel again soon.